My dear brothers and sisters, there's a story that is told about a woman who slipped on a ship and fell into the sea. That amidst the commotion, a man dived and went on to save the woman from drowning. When the hero guy was brought on board with all the people clapping their hands, he was asked to make a speech and the first thing he said was, All I want to know is who pushed me. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel for this 22nd Sunday of ordinary time, Jesus tells the people about the importance of the heart. All our words and actions must be the result of what is really in our hearts, not just out of obligation or by being forced to do things without the full consent, just like in our story. So brothers and sisters, we are guilty of hypocrisy if there is no integrity in what we think, in what we do or what we say. God sees the heart and we must not be little matters of the heart for the heart matters. Many of us are fond of saying, cross my heart and notice how this expression is used to underline truthfulness and sincerity. That is because the heart is the fountain from which our thoughts, our words and our actions come. Thus, we do not use the words cross my head or cross my lips, or cross my eyes. Yes, the heart is where truthfulness or lies reside. Nowadays, sad to say, many people are not heart-driven. Many are rather becoming more money-driven, purpose-driven, and fame-driven. All they want to see is results. That no matter what and no matter how, easily setting aside morality, and righteousness. Jesus, today, my dear brothers and sisters, teaches us to go back to our hearts and see who we are deep inside and outward actions, our traditions are empty if they are done not with the heart. There is so much concern for externals these days. It is a world that has hardly time to go to extra mile to see more than what meets the eye. The efforts people do just to be beautiful, presentable, and acceptable. And a lot of things can be fixed, remedied, and retouched and faked these days. Let us be vigilant and not be deceived. For us, the, blue, the bottom line is still the heart. Your lips may be sweet, but where is your heart? This line from a song a long ago sums up the emptiness of words without the heart. True prayer is from the heart and not from the lips. That's why someone beautifully puts it, it is better to have a heart without words than words without a heart. Another song from Jose Marichan says, If you love me like you tell me, please be careful with my heart. Reminds us that we have hearts and that other people have hearts too. So let us allow our hearts to have peace and have them nourished with silence prayer and love and we pray heavenly father i look up to you to enlighten what is dark in me to strengthen what is bruised in me to heal what is sick in me to strengthen what is crooked in me and to revive whatever peace and love that have died in me lord heal our hearts amen <music>